Good morning and welcome to Live News Breakfast Bulletin. The DA's march to Bayer's Nordia Square yesterday ended prematurely as ANC supporters who had gathered illegally to confront the DA clashed with police. Police had to form a human barrier between supporters of the rival parties and arrested four people for public violence. They fired stun grenades to disperse ANC supporters who pelted them with stones and petrol bombs. A new Ipsos poll shows that half of South African adults believe President Jacob Zuma and his government are not doing their jobs adequately. 54% of respondents said Zuma was not doing well. The poll indicates that South African public perception of how well government was doing had declined in the past three years. The Square Kilometre Array Telescope, or SKA, had its final piece of foundation laid yesterday at site in the Karoo. The SKA is said to be the largest radio telescope in the world. In international news, the floods that have devastated the UK over the past weeks show no sign of abating as a major storm system promises more rain over the weekend. A rare red warning has been issued for part of the country. The Thames River has reached levels not seen since 1967 in places. In sporting news, Australia on top after day one of the first test against South Africa, ending the day with figures of 297 for four. In the Premier League, Arsenal failed to capitalise on Chelsea's slip-up after being held to a 0-0 draw with Manchester United last night, and Liverpool earned a late 3-2 win at Fulham to consolidate their fourth-place standing. Stay tuned to Live News for more updates.